friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Temptations is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find our friends so faithful? Oh, Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Come, but with the Lord of care. Take it to the Lord in prayer. To the friends despised for sin, take it to the Lord in prayer. In His arms will take and shield me. The Bible reading is from Mark chapter 9, verse from 14 to 29. When Jesus and his three disciples came back down, they saw a large crowd around the other disciples. The teachers of the law of Moses were arguing with them. The crowd was really surprised to see Jesus. And everyone hurried over to greet him. Jesus asked, what are you arguing about? Someone from the crowd answered, teacher, I brought my son to you. A demon keeps him from talking. Whenever the demon attacks my son, it throws him to the ground and makes him foam at the mouth and grit his teeth in pain. Then he becomes stiff. I asked your disciples to force out the demon, but they could not do it. Jesus said, you people don't have any faith. How much longer must I be with you? Why do I have to put up with you? Bring the boy to me. They brought the boy. And as soon as the demon saw Jesus and made the boy shake all over, he fell down and began rolling on the ground and foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? The man answered, ever since he was a child, the demon has often tried to kill him by throwing him into fire or into water. Please have pity and help us if you can. Jesus replied, why do you say if you can? Anything is possible for someone who has faith. Right away, the boy's father shouted, I do have faith. Please help me to have even more. When Jesus saw the crowd was gathering fast. He spoke suddenly to the evil spirit 
that had kept the boy from speaking or hearing. He said, I order you to come out of the boy. Don't ever bother him again. The spirit screamed and made the boy shake all over. Then it went out of him. The boy looked dead, and almost everyone said he was. But Jesus took hold of his hand and helped him stand up. After Jesus and the disciples had gone back home and were alone, they asked him, Why couldn't we force out the demon? Jesus answered, Only prayer can force out that kind of demon. That kind of demon. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Well, today the story is after transfiguration. Jesus and three disciples, James, Peter, and John, went up to a mountain. And they saw Jesus, Elijah, and Moses talking. And Jesus' clothes was transformed into dazzling white. After Peter you know, saw all this, he said, I, I, I'll build three shelters and let's stay in here. But Jesus said, no, let's go down. And they came down. When they came down, Jesus saw the crowd and arguing. So Jesus said, what are you arguing? What's going on? And the father came to Jesus and said, I brought my son, asking to force out the demons. Demon, but they couldn't. And Jesus said, bring the boy. How long has he been like this? And since child. But if you can help us. And Jesus said, why do you say if you can? Anything is possible for someone who has faith. So the father said, I have faith, but please help me to have even more. So Jesus command, come out, the evil spirit. And then Jesus cure the boy. And after they all gone back to their home, and disciples asked Jesus, why couldn't we force out the demon? And Jesus said, only prayer can force out. Well, in this story, we can talk about a lot of things, but one thing, you know, or three things what I want to you know, point out is, first of all, disciples couldn't do it. Well, it was not a first time. The other day, they came back with the victory and triumph. And Jesus, we did it. We forced out demons. But today, they couldn't. In their own experience, without Jesus, they did it. So, they thought, well, we can do in here. But they couldn't. They couldn't force out the demon. So that's why, you know, in the Bible story, they surrounded nine disciples and the leader of the teacher of the law of Moses. They argued. Well, in here, it's like, you know, two sides, uh, uh, you know, no, signs are arguing, something like that. But in the Greek word, it's not. It is like you know, one way arguing, saying, you know, push at the corner. Why you couldn't do that? You know, it's something like you have no power. You, your leader is a force. You are following false, you know, prophets and leaders. Well, 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 that kind of thing, you can understand what I mean. It is one way arguing. You know, personally, in my own experience, I did. Sometimes, I can, you know, when I lay my hands down, and then it happens. One of my elders, he got the problem with his legs. I went there, 
And then, you know, I gave him massage and I put my hands and prayed. And after that, it's all gone. But not always. If it happens all the time, probably our church will be filled with, uh, you know, all our community or, you know, from the, the other city came to me, you know, to lay my hands on there and to heal. But no, 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 no. It didn't. It's not always happened. But what happened? So Jesus said to the father, bring the boy. When the father brought the boy, in the Bible it is said, as soon as the demon saw Jesus, it threw him to the ground and made him foam at the mouth and rolling. Work. When I saw in Greek, in Greek language, it's not demon saw Jesus. It's the boy saw Jesus. When father brought the boy in front of Jesus, and then the boy saw Jesus. The boy saw Jesus. And the demon inside of that boy turned his minds and threw him to the ground, make him foam at the mouth and rolling and shake him all. What does it mean is when boy saw Jesus, demon shake him over. The other meaning is the demon, the evil spirit, it doesn't want us to see and focus on God. He doesn't want, he wants us to turn away off our focus, our eyes from the Lord. You know, funny thing is, when we follow my own way, when we practice my own rules, and when I do on my own, nothing happens. It doesn't go wrong. Even it's better. It, it goes well. Because the demon, the evil spirit doesn't care what I do. And just leave him alone. Oh, it's well done. Good boy. But when I try to follow God, try to practice the law of God, when I focus on God, suddenly it you know, uh, uh, disturb my mind. And then, you know, uh, my situation gets worse. And try to disturb our relationship. And try to turn our eyes off. And then that is what we can see in here. The evil spirit does want us to focus on God, to follow God, to see God. When the boy saw the Lord Jesus, suddenly the demon shake him over, rolling, throwing down to the ground, on the ground, and rolling. Try to, you know, turn his eyes off from God. When we see God, there is all there. There is power. There is truth. There is everlasting life. That's why to see is very important. And, and then uh, 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 and the next point is miracle is not by knowledge, but by faith. When I put my hands on summons, it's not by my knowledge. It's not by my experience. It's faith in here. Faith in here. And then God's will. The disciples had experience. Disciples had, had, had a knowledge. But they couldn't, they couldn't force out the demon. 
Jesus said, your people don't have any faith. And the father said, please, please have pity and help us if you can. What the, 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 the kind of things, if you can, can you do that? If you can. How, how do you hear that you know, kind of things? Well, in Greek words, it's a negative way of saying. The other way, the father didn't rely on Jesus, didn't believe, but just say, hey, can you do that? Your disciples didn't do, and then how about you? You could do? Well, if you could do, please help me. Something like that kind of things we can feel in Greek word. In negative way. And Jesus said, anything is possible for someone who has faith. Now, in here, in, in, in our Bible, it is say, I have faith. Please help me have more. But in here, before the in Greek version, it is, Lord, I have faith. The title, calling Jesus. Well, at the beginning, the father said, teacher. But in here, Lord, the calling, the title of Jesus has changed. I do have faith. Lord, I do have faith. Please help me to have even more. And Jesus said, come out. Come out, the demon. Only faith can force out the demon. Only faith can do anything. And then after all, they gone back their home and the disciples asked Jesus, why couldn't we force out the demon? And Jesus said, only prayer can force out that kind of demon, only prayer can force out that kind of demon. That kind of coronavirus, that kind of pandemic, that kind of relationship, that kind of mood, that kind of depression, that kind of stress, that kind of financial situation whatsoever, only prayer. But picture mark is, before Jesus said faith. You people don't have faith. Anything is possible for someone who has faith. And now only prayer. What does it mean? This means is faith and prayer is not two things. It's one. Two sides of a coin. So faith and prayer, it goes always together. If someone has got faith, but don't pray, and then that it goes all in vain. Someone says, I pray all the time, but without faith. And that is the language, a word in the air. It's empty words. So it goes always together. If you have faith, you pray. If you pray, you have uh, faith. It goes together. Whatever we have got that mountain, troubles, hard work. We have faith and pray. Faith is mine, but prayer goes to God. By prayer, through prayer, we, we ask God's power to draw down the power. That's why faith can do. Faith can move a mountain into the sea. Faith can make a mountain to the level ground. Faith can make desert into streams. 
faith and prayer comes together. And today, Jesus said, anything is possible for someone who has faith. And only prayer can force out that kind of demon. So remember, faith and prayer can force out any kind of troubles in front of you. Let us pray. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? We pray for those who feel forgotten and unseen. May they know that they are remembered and seen by you, God. Help us to partner with you to remember the forgotten. Search our heart to reveal those we hide our faces from, the outcast, the stranger, or the homeless. Change our hearts that we may turn our faces towards these people and see them as your beloved children. Especially we pray for Will, Kath Kane, Jessica Mandy, Rose Mac, Jill and Sophie, Jill and Miriam, Patrick, Nigel, Owen, and for all those known to us who are in special need of our prayers. Give them the strength and courage to carry on and hope for the future. And also, especially, we pray for Jamie, a little boy, while he fell down and broke his legs. And he had the operation. Now, Lord, put your hands on there and strengthen him and heal. While well, believe doctors and nurses, they just put together. But what they could do, and now is your time, because we believe and we rely on your power. So Lord, send your Holy Spirit and put your hands on there and heal. The bones uh, get together and then flesh get together. And also he is in pain, probably. So get rid of a pain and also Lord give him happy mind, happy thought. So even though he couldn't do you know, a lot of things he used to do, but Lord give him happy thought and minds, so he can enjoy in his situation. How long must I wrestle with my thoughts, and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? We pray for those we know who struggle with mental illness, anxiety, and depression. We pray that there will be resources released to help, enough staff, staff employed, and finances given towards mental health services nationally. Help us to be a friend and a listening ear to those who suffer. Fill us with compassion and wisdom. Ultimately, we pray for those who wrestle with silver that they may know your victory over those dark thoughts which currently seem to triumph. Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will slip in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. We pray for those who might be considered fallen by those around them. May they know your resurrection and grace. Help us to not judge or exclude your beloved children, but instead lift them up in prayer and embrace them with the grace we know in Christ. Thank you, loving Father God, for hearing our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we pray.
Amen. The blessing of God the Almighty and the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Have a nice day.